So we're on our silver 1.8 Rover 45 and we've removed the wheels to respray them. And if you'd like to see how we respray the wheels, uh, I've done a specific video on that and you can look back on the channel to see completely how we do it. What I thought I'd do is a little video here is why those wheels are off. It also gives us a little chance to just uh, check the brakes, um, just a visual check really. And... Um, we're checking that the uh, pads have got a lot of depth, which um, on these they have, and they weren't changed that long ago. And as you can see, the discs are um, pretty much new. As uh, in the vented part, there's not even any rust. Uh, the interesting thing about this is most of the 45s, they're solid discs at the front, but um, we assume because this is the 1.8 engine, you get the vented discs. Uh, there's no major scorings on those discs, which uh, hopefully shouldn't be being there um, fairly new. But as I said, kind of a yearly check we do, but because we're doing the wheels, it's um, sort of two jobs in one. Uh, what we've also done is cleaned off all the dirt that obviously builds up on the uh, calipers and on the disc and just give them one extra coat of red paint just so they are looking nice. Uh, the shield, um, we've got to do a little bit more cleaning on that yet. And if I walk over to the um, back, uh, on the back of this one, it's uh, discs at the back as well as the front. Uh, once again, the uh, pads, as you can see, are looking pretty good and there's um, a fair amount of depth on them. And uh, again, the discs are um, looking good. The calipers on these were changed, I think, about um, a year, possibly two years now. Uh, again, as you can see, they're looking a little bit more grabby because what we've got to do is clean them and uh, paint them. So these are all little jobs we're doing whilst we're uh, painting the wheels. So I thought I'd just cover that. Uh, on these, the handbrake is part of the um, main caliper. Uh, hopefully you can uh, see that. So there's um, nothing like the 75 where there's separate little drum brakes in uh, this part. It is um, the caliper is your handbrake and uh, your main hydraulic brake. Right, so we've just give the um, back brakes a clean up. As you've seen before, we use the brake cleaner um, so there's no dust, blow that off. Then we give the paint also another little wash off with some just warm soapy water. Uh, that cleans all the dust and the grease off that's built up. Uh, and then what, what you normally do then, and what we're gonna do on this is then just give them one coat of red paint just to freshen them up. And of course we're doing that on all four uh, wheels across the car, but we're just showing you on this uh, one, the process we use. Right, so um, after we used the brake cleaner and then washed them off, we've left it a day, you probably don't need to, but we leave it a little bit longer to just make sure it's nice and um, dry. And then what we've done now is just give them a little wipe over with panel wipe and then we'll start painting. I mean, actually the red looks pretty good, but for longer lasting, it's always worth putting that little extra new coat on just to get them looking back up to new and they will last a lot longer through the next year or so. So that is the back brake disc now painted and you will say it's surprising just how much dirt builds up in um, a short time but uh, even after they were cleaned we still think it looks better just to give that little coat of red paint to really get them look back in 
looking back sort of fresh and clean especially as we're respraying the wheels uh, as well so just keeping you updated on this at the moment we are painting all the suspension parts uh, in black also already were painted but this is just neatening things up so one of the other things we are doing whilst uh, checking the brakes and painting the, the suspension parts is um, cleaning the side skirts or the plastic seal covers so uh, that's what I'm doing at the moment these are the ones that are actually sprayed um, silver as they go on the um, 45 connoisseur um, also it's got the mud flaps on they're just drying in the sun and we're just giving them uh, soaking some soapy uh, water there to keep um, them sort of soaking it all that mud out um, then what we do is actually use the waterless wax to clean up these side skirts uh, that works really really well and we actually probably use that more than literally clean the car we use it for um, cleaning like in the door shuts um, cleaning when we remove the seals as I say cleaning um, up things like this um, and probably a pre-polish we use it a lot to just go over the car to get rid of any real grit that might be left on there if we've washed it and then gone a couple of days till we do a full polish uh, and for the black plastic part like the mud flaps um, I've been recently using like a tyre shine because this seems to bring that plastic uh, really back also another thing you can use is um, WD that always works really really well so the mud flaps are all clean and uh, we've put the protector on them to bring them back to black and we're just fitting them back on now what we've also done is cleaned any plastic guards that clip up under the wheel arches also and of course the side strips are um, clean and they're ready to go back on the uh, side of the car so as we were showing you fitting the mud flaps back, I've also let you know that what we've done is bought new little like um, hex head um, bolt screws to replace the screws. What there is they were going rusty and often the um, sort of crosshead slot rusts away and you can't get them out. So while we're putting them back, we've replaced these with these little bolts and uh, washers. Uh, it looks neater, but also be easier to remove the mud flaps in the uh, in the future these we got from uh, ebay just by simply searching for them uh, and buying them not especially for cars just um, that particular type of um, self-tapping hex head black bolt with a washer included so two of the wheels of our Rover 45 1.8 are masked up and I just thought I'd cover this because when we did the full video of how we paint the wheels I never said that we always use the uh, brown paper rather than newspaper or scrap paper we buy these um, rolls here and although in some ways even to me they seem a little bit dear when you buy them they last a long long time and for us sort of using them as home users just for our collection uh, they last years so they're a lot easier and uh, they do last a long time uh, all we do now is just wipe these over with a bit of panel wipe we've um, scuffed them uh, up give them a rough finish and then it's just a case of wiping them with a panel wipe uh, all over to uh, get any sort of grease or dirt off and uh, actually so we never used to use panel wipe but since we've used it we've really found it useful and the paint actually does um, work well and doesn't seem to initially react when we spray it so we find that very very useful So that is two of the four wheel sprayed frail 1.845. As I say, if you'd like to see the full video on how we um, 
re-sprout wheels then that is available on the channel but i thought i'd just show you um, a little brief bit of us putting some of the undercoat on and the final coat to coincide with us cleaning up and uh, painting the brakes all as um, part of this little video covering uh, some of the um, little maintenance and updates on this uh, car so far So the mud flaps are back on and we've done all the red painting and the black metal paint and silver paint um, around the wheel arches and suspension. Um, the plastic uh, seal protector is back on and uh, of course the same with the front. All the red, black and silver paint needed doing is um is done so really all that's left now to do is to uh put the wheels back on that we sprayed earlier whilst we were doing these other jobs so i'm just polishing up the wheel nuts to go with our newly sprayed alloyed wheels and uh, basically what we do is just um use um a good old um metal polish um like this one and uh, just give them a gentle clean round it doesn't make a difference hope the camera's showing this is one i've uh, just started doing and uh, yeah it's lovely and shiny but this one you can see has got a lot of marks and um, sometimes they even have kind of yellowing uh, rust on them as well all that gets removed so uh, it's really worth doing it's just one of those sort of jobs you've got to sit there and uh, and do but it certainly makes the wheel look a lot better so we're ready now to put the wheels back on but uh, before i do that i'm just going to be scotch brighting uh, down some of this rust which we did remove before we started the job and during the period we've been doing it, it's built up so before we put the wheels on we're just going to scotch bright uh, that rust back off and uh, then we'll be ready to go So we've cleaned out and cleaned round the uh, little badges, so all that's left to do is to just put those in. So that's the wheels back on and uh, it's all finished. And just to bring you round the other side as well. So we've um, done a basic check on the brakes just to check they're looking okay. We've painted all the suspension, wheel arches and of course the calipers and round the disc brakes. Uh, painted the wheels, cleaned the um, chrome wheel nuts up as well and uh, showed you through the process as always it's uh, always worth um, looking at any manuals for technical specifications or more details of course on them um, checking brakes said so we were only giving them a basic check just before we painted them uh, as always don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, find us on instagram and uh, twitter